and you know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. Mr. President, everybody in this room has one thing in common. We all have your back. Oh, my Lindsay, my Lindsay. I want you to use my words against me. If there's a Republican president in 2016 and a vacancy occurs in the last year of the first term, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's let the next president, who it, whoever it might be, make that nomination. And you could use my words against me and you'd be absolutely right. You don't even have to be convicted of a crime to lose your job in this constitutional republic. If this body determines that your conduct as a public official is clearly out of bounds in your role. From my point of view, to impeach any president over a phone call like this would be insane. And the big problem I have, if we don't get to call meaningful witnesses, direct witnesses to the point, is that you're basically changing impeachment. I am clearly made up my mind. I'm not trying to hide the fact that I have disdain for the accusations in the process, so I don't need any witnesses. Some people have said, I won't vote for impeachment. Some House members have said, I will not vote for an impeachment. Let me tell you, please don't say that until you understand what you're voting on. The Senate has a constitutional duty in holding this trial and comprehensively evaluating the case. Agree? Uh, no, it doesn't say that in the Constitution. Members of the Senate have said, I understand everything there is about this case, and I won't vote to impeach the president. Please allow the facts to do the talking. I am trying to give you a pretty clear signal. I have made up my mind. <laughs> I, I'm not I, I trying wasn't to in pretend any doubt to be a point. fair <laughs> juror here. If Jeff Session is fired, there will be holy hell to pay. The president's entitled to attorney general he has faith in. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. No, I don't think he's a xenophobic, race-baiting, religious bigot a... as president. He doesn't represent my party. He doesn't represent the values that the men and women who wear the uniform are fighting for. Mr. President, thank you for being the best commander-in-chief since Ronald Reagan. I think he's a kook. I think he's crazy. I think he's unfit for office. You know, what concerns me about the American press is this endless, endless a attempt to label the guy as some kind of kook, uh, not fit to be president. Donald Trump is the most unelectable Republican I've seen in my lifetime. You're going to kick their ass in November. Oh, my Lindsay, my Lindsay.